Hi, I'm John from the City Training Center and in this tutorial we are going to talk about lights and shadows. So let's start this scene. Go to your create panel, geometry, standard primitives and select a plane. Just click and drag anywhere. Here we got it. And now select um, a teapot and a box. So, to create a light, you just go to your create panel, lights, and here we got two types, photometric and standard. Photometric is more advanced, it uses other kind of illumination, photos, photons and everything else, so we're going to choose standard for now. And here we can see a lot of options, so we are going to work only with this tree first, target spot, target direct and on the light. These others uses other kind of illumination, other renders, so just this tree for now. Uh, you can just get in any viewport and uh, you can just click and drag in the target spot. So as the name says we get a spotlight right here and uh, the target and you can press W to move you can move s the light here, the spot and you can also move the target so to see if the light's working you just go to your perspective view to render you can press F9 or you can press this button and you can see the lights working and also cut a little bit of the plane right here that's cause the spotlight the hot beam is not uh, covering all the surface of the plane so you can just select your light go to the modify panel and here we have the spotlight parameters and you can ch change the hot spot you can just increase it and now if you render again you can see the lights covering everything so but there's no shadow but uh, let me talk about other lights first you can basically select your light and in the general parameters tab you have light type so you can just change the spotlight to directional light and omni light the only light is like a uh, a light bulb it uh, illuminates everything around it so it's better to use this for now we don't have any complex scene right now so I'm going to stick with it and uh, what else okay you can just turn the light on and off right here and here in shadows you can just turn it on and again just render to see and here you see the shadows working you can see the shadows are not very good it's blurred that's because we used it the shadow map so go to your select your light modify panel again and here in general parameters you have shadows you can just change the, sh the type of the shadow to um, ray trace its shadows so just render and you see the shadow is a lot smoother so that's okay so more properties right now that's pretty much fine this tab right here I'm gonna close it intensity bar color bar attenuation so we have the multiplier right here that's basically the intensity you can just decrease it or increase it you can change the light color I'm not gonna change it at all I don't care some properties here a little bit more advanced so I'm just gonna close this and right here in shadow parameters we can change the color sh of the shadow such as the intensity of the shadow I'm just gonna decrease a little bit and render you can see the the shadow is a little bit lighter you know it's better this way and you can also increase the density of the shadow 
now it's very dark what else I guess that's it for now lights can be very confusing so I'm not gonna get way too complex in this so see you guys in the next tutorial check out the website see you later